will be collected. All these investments directly or indirectly benefit to the business of companies and promotes our intellectual slavery. Friends, there is a big conspiracy with their political for their political agenda. That is subversion of education. The government has part of NDP policy removing the exciting history, literature, and introducing Bhagavad Gita, Ribar, Ramayana. Mahabharata, Veda, Sukhanijal as a part of the education curriculum. Even the, the, the don't have interest to conserve our struggles and our leaders like Pedyaniki, Ramsana Nayadar, America, Mahatma Jodhana Pule and our Tamil Nadu history and culture and our Telangana history and culture. They don't even conserve these kind of struggles and they wanted to remove it the history of Dali all was his struggles and including karma theory in the place of Dali theory and forcing to the states, state governments to implement the RSS privilege in schools and colleges curriculums, recruiting teachers and professors in the higher and central higher central and state institution with aspects who belong to some part of the ideology by violating the rules and regulations of UGC. This is the biggest challenge to our research scholars, uh, they even don't enter in their central universities who are, who are working on left and Dalit ideology. They have a lot of examples. Uh, if we see, as well as, if we see, we all know that the Dalit scholar from SU, Rohit Yamuna, and the Darshan Sonaki from IIT Bombay, and Central Kumar from Tamil Nadu. And the Atmanati Majas University suicide due to this caste discrimination and Hindu ideology in educational institution. They have to think about very seriously about this kind of uh, so, uh, so this kind of institutional matters. Friends, the recent guidance of UTC states that all the states and central universities and the institutions of MN should fill their PhD admission for ATA. Far by catalyst. This is unethical. The shameless scams NTA, NTA to centralize the all examination powers and all examination system for their BJP political agenda. And the Indian government also plan to dissolve higher education bodies, AICT, NCRT, UGC and replaced with the Higher Education Commission of India and summarizing the education. In this time, it is our responsibility to, responsibility to demand for the desummarization of education. Apart of its vision, God has been planning the idea of one nation, one education, one religion. These all are, they are consciously and forcefully implementing to us for their political benefits. Friends, Modi treats himself and not violation. The God sent to me to do all this. And, and also he said that we should check like the missiles. Then the fellow, I'm asking the fellow, why did you waste this much of money, this much of, this much of people's money? They have wanted to spread their ignorance and their ideology to our young people, to our young students. Dear friends, in my conclusion, to, to counter the transparency of NEP policy by the government, we have to educate the students, parents and general public for abolishing of NEP. And as a student, we should take our rights by the protest. We have only one to protest our rights, that is, uncompromising struggle, we must learn lessons from Bangladesh students. And also, in, in my conclusion, I have to observe how the student movements and how the education system going on in Tamil Nadu. That's why I came from here. And I also have to thank to all the professors and teachers and the uh, students of this Tamil Nadu who are uh, amazing this meeting. Thank you, thank you very much. Inkalar Jindawa.